My name is Akiva Goldman. I'm the director and founder of Goldman & Associates. Our firm has a primary focus on family law issues here in Michigan. Today, we're going to continue our video series designed to educate and inform the public. So please subscribe to our channel. What's the legal effect of a divorce in another country? Now, I'm not talking about a divorce. Well, I guess we could talk about a divorce from another country or a divorce that is here and whether or not it's valid in another country. Well, I will tell you this. In the United States, particularly in the state of Michigan, you're always going to be told once you get a divorce in the state of Michigan, it's valid all over the world. It means as far as we're concerned, you are divorced. You don't have to go take it to another country and ask them if they approve of it. You don't have to go do that. It's valid. That's our position. Now, having said that, there may be some countries where they are very, let's say, biased toward either the husband or the wife. They may have rules that favor one or the other. And whether they're going to recognize it to the same degree that Michigan would, if it's a Michigan divorce, that remains to be seen. But the general proposition is divorced here, divorced everywhere. Now, let's look at it the other way around. If we say divorced here, divorced everywhere, does that mean divorced everywhere, divorced here? Not necessarily. Michigan requires, and all the states really do, that if somebody's going to say that they're divorced, they have to have had opportunity to have the due process of law in the other place for Michigan to recognize it. Within the United States, every state, because of uh, full faith and credit rules, will recognize the judgment of another state. It doesn't mean they'll do it without a procedure. Every state has a procedure for the recognition of, of you know, foreign divorces. So Michigan will recognize a divorce from, you know, Louisiana. It, it, there'll still have to be an appropriate application to domesticate that judgment if you want to enforce it and all that and vice versa from Michigan to Louisiana. But there'll be a recognition. In terms of the world, though, Michigan will recognize a foreign divorce so long as there is clear evidence that the due process rights of the person against whom the divorce was filed were maintained, were honored, that the due process rights were followed so that the person had an opportunity to be heard on issues that are relevant. There is, it is a fact that there are some jurisdictions in the world where they will permit a divorce without any notice to the other side. And if the other side has no notice and they haven't had an opportunity to be heard on the subject, they haven't had an opportunity to assert their rights, to make their claims, Michigan's not going to recognize that. Michigan's going to say, if you want to domesticate that judgment, you're going to have to prove that uh, this person had notice, this person had an opportunity to be heard, this person's arguments were, were asserted before the court, and, and, and if the court decided against them, that's a different story. But at least they had the right to due process, the right to be able to say, look, before you impact my property, I want to be heard on the subject. You'll be surprised how many jurisdictions there are in the world that will grant these rights without any care in the world about the other person. If that's the kind of divorce that's trying to be enforced here in Michigan, expect the state of Michigan to have a very serious problem with allowing the enforcement of such judgment. Now, if you have a question about your judgment, reach out and we'll be glad to help you out.